My mum once said to me, you can please some of the people some of the time, but you can't please all the people all the time, and I never really knew the significance of that until recently. In this reflective time, I've come to realise that places and spaces, regardless of exterior faces, are made by those who call it home. And some still call this the pink elephant in the room. But then, quite frankly, I feel moved to prove that this elephant has a heart. From right back at the start, she was neglected. And I saw rejected for the myth that this was another scheme of government greed, a building without purpose or need, but soon people they believed. Started sowing seeds and they would nourish them to flourish them into necessary things. Opportunities for teens, a place for senior citizens and all ages in between to bring a world of creativity and home it in this vicinity to inspire a spark to create fire in hearts of those who want to show that they can shine. Outside, under grey washed skies, Sylvia and Tom brave slicing wind through cobbled streets. In this same town, they would meet some 40 years ago. The public has become a place they know well, years of stories to tell. I watch as Sylvia's silver shoes and hair, both immaculate, match Tom's pressed trousers. A habit he's kept up from days of service. He strides with confidence and purpose towards a dance hall space filled with familiar faces they've come to know and love. The smell of fresh cake and click-clacking of plates with double kisses on the cheek, one left and one right, brings reminiscence of nights where waltzes and quick steps turn courting into forty years of marriage and friends and laughter. A hundred plus people in this room make at least fifty partners, and in this kaleidoscope of symmetry and movements, fixed frames and pleated skirts, the room comes alive and I'm standing at the side trying to hide that I'm dancing a little on the inside and my hand taps the beat on the side of my leg. In the distance I catch glimpses of children winding down corners where no two are the same. They're playing a game with their dad. He's a shy looking chap with a map of pain on his face. He only gets them on a Wednesday. A weekend if he's lucky. The divorce it was a mucky affair to say the least but he brings Millie and Reese to watch the crease round their eyes be forced there by their smiles. Smiles brought by darkened caves that these two would shortly brave to find a light and illuminated lights triggered by tiny feet with flashing souls. Since they've been coming here I've seen them grow. And they've become fond of their weekly visit and their father stands proud at the sight of their wide eyes and red sore stained smiles. As they head for the cafe, in a corner sit the knitting knights of the round table. A group of women pulling tightly on wool wrapped round needles, holding up a tradition to meet and greet every Friday, sharing patterns sat beneath cups of coffee and tea. Moments later, Mrs Morris walks in, she, well she can hardly see. Approaching pink doors that define only their height, it's clear that cataracts has taken most of her sight, but the brightly coloured space allows her to pick out traces of lines on the floor. The rushing water sounds above from censored pools touched by a child. Her senses are running wild as every open window she passes give momentary break where sun hits face. She knows this place. She loves sitting and listening to the sounds of it breathing and living. She hears the shuffle of those dancing feet and the sound of children passing beneath. A group on a school trip who too love to sit and interact with touch and brush and quick pose as they crush into picture frame one, three, two, one and on. She faintly picks out the click clacking of keys and telephone rings and Mrs Morris, she loves to paint. And within this same space, her art group allows her to paint what she sees in her dreams because art isn't just seeing, it's feeling, and buildings are just four walls contained under ceilings, but this labyrinth of modern technology is built on tradition of community and family. And yes, some people still call this the pink elephant in the room, but quite frankly, we're all moved to prove that this elephant has a heart.